if you've got about 65 grand and you like camping, you want to do it self-contained with minimal effort and you want to buy a car that you can drive every day that feels like a Volkswagen Golf, well, enter the new Volkswagen Caddy California, the latest entrant to Volkswagen's refreshed lineup of Caddy vans here in Australia. The rest of the range rocked up a few months ago. The California has just launched. We've brought along the 90 TDI diesel version. It's all set up as a passenger vehicle right now, but just a few ticks and you can get it set up as a self-contained camper. Self-contained being the operative word. So we sent Chasing Cars staff journalist Zach Adkins out camping in this thing over the weekend to see just how easy life was. So Zach, you're usually on the news desk at chasingcars.com.au. We gave you the keys to the Caddy California yep. to go camping. Where did you go? I took it out to the Hunter Valley, beautiful spot um, in Pocolbin. Um, great, great wine country, um, great climate for wine, um, but it was an excellent car for the job. So how far away from Sydney is that? Help us out for our viewers elsewhere. It's about an hour and a half's drive from, from Sydney, if, you, if you're coming from sort of the inner suburbs. Yeah. yeah, and so the diesel was a pretty good fit for that drive? Yeah, awesome. It got really, really good fuel consumption. Uh, it got it down to about six litres per 100 kilometres, which was excellent. So, and are you much of a camper yourself? I love camping. I've been camping since I was a really, really young boy. Um, so, anytime I can go out, I, I do, and I really enjoy it. So, this 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 car was awesome for the job. Okay, so walk us through a bit about how you change this thing from a passenger vehicle into a camper. Easy, difficult stuff they could have improved. It's really easy. All you have to do really is the bed sort of like just folds out and clicks into the sides and then you just bring along a sleeping bag and um, a pillow and a camping chair and you're pretty much set for the weekend. Um, and of course you'll need to get your own food and all that but there's enough room for an esky and all sorts of stuff in there. It's great. Fantastic. Well what we might do now is we might uh, get the car set up as a camper. We'll demonstrate how it's done. Check out the interior, which is based on the Golf, making it a nice car to live with, and then we'll take a drive in the Caddy California and uh, and give you a verdict. Not sponsored content. Volkswagen got nothing to do with it. We're just having a bit of fun with the Caddy California. Hit subscribe. So guys, here we are at the back of the Caddy. Uh, basically, to set up the bed, it's really simple. Uh, the front two seats have to go all the way forward. The second row has to be folded down, and all that has to happen after that is the bed just folds straight out and clips into the side of each of the um, pillar points. And that's it. Done. So it's a fairly enviable little setup. You can pull up to the campground. Everyone else is faffing around with all their crap flying everywhere. About 20 seconds and you're good to go in yeah. the Caddy California. Is that about it? That's it, yeah. And if you don't want to use the bed, you totally can because it's got like 3,000 litres of storage space. So if you yeah. don't want to use the bed, it can be used for multi-purposes. Beautiful. And I think you'd agree, it's uh, very much uh, sufficient for one, a little cosy for two. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. <laughs> bit, bit cosy. A little bit, but hey, it could be done. You can pull up by the side of the road and uh, sleep. And you've got a few options. There's a big panoramic fixed sunroof, which this car has. And I think you can get things like a, an awning and, and a, a roof tent and stuff like that too, can't you? That's right. You can get a, a roof tent that sort of goes out here and sort of is like its own fixed thing. Um, if you want some extra stuff, it also comes with a table and chairs down there, um, which is just pulls out and you're ready to go. You just probably need, you know, a pillow and a sleeping bag and you'll be set. Fantastic. Well, okay. There's a look at how to set it up for a sleep. Uh, let's jump up front and check out the interior and then take a drive in the California. Of course, the beauty of the California model is you can stash that bed and you can set up the back seats, then you've got five usable chairs in the van. You're not gonna get five adults in bed, but you will get five people to the campground because these are all individual seats, nice and spacious, good view out, good view up out of the fixed panoramic roof that's the best part of two grand. And you got a few amenities too, air vents, USB-C ports, and those cool tray tables that you used to get on a Tiguan, but you don't anymore. They're still on the Caddy, which is cool. So good back seat. The sliding doors are easy enough for kids to use. So thumbs up from me. Let's check out the front row. The front seat of the new Caddy is really familiar if you already have a Volkswagen in the garage. And that's because it shares its basic form and its tech with the new Mark 8 Golf. So you've got these two digital screens here, 10.25, 10.25, and they're pretty easy to use. You do have those climate sort of soft buttons instead of uh, dials and switches for climate. That's a bit of a shame, but 
Otherwise, everything else works well, and the processing power actually seems fine in this screen too. Now, Volkswagen's own software has navigation, so that's helpful to get you uh, to where you want to go camping, even without a data connection. Good to have that feature. Clear, crisp, and bright infotainment in front of you in the virtual cockpit. You can change all the colors too. We've got like a nice aqua blue here to match the hero color of the Caddy California that we are sitting in. However, you can also upgrade the system to have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Interestingly, that upgrade only costs $35, which seems pretty cheap to me, so I'd probably tick that box. Now, we're sitting on grey cloth seats. They're fairly conservative, but they actually do have kind of a cool pattern running down the middle. And classic Volkswagen, they're firm, they're supportive. Even though they've got manual adjustment, they do actually still have manual lumbar for your back as well. So for those long trips to the campground, you can get yourself comfy, it's good. Leather steering wheel in front of us, hard buttons on the wheel, nice and easy to use, air vents. And look, while the plastics are all pretty durable, this is a commercial vehicle, what are you going to expect? And it's also not a commercial vehicle that costs the earth. Uh, both the petrol and the diesel versions of the Caddy California are under 60 before on-road costs. This California diesel ends up around 65, 66 drive away. And given the vehicle is so self-contained, it doesn't seem too bad for me. I'm not exactly a van expert, but you know, given on chasing cars, we've got a lot of experience with cars. This one is very familiar, very drivable, and very easy to use, as you just saw in terms of the camping stuff. But what is it like to drive? Let's find out. The beauty of driving the Caddy California is that this van is based on the same MQB Evo architecture as cars like the Volkswagen Golf, Audi A3 and Skoda Octavia. Sure, it's a van and I'm not about to tell you that it's as sporty to drive as a Golf GTI or something, but you still feel the same inherent suppleness and goodness to the chassis when steering this van as you do with a much smaller hatchback and that certainly makes this vehicle feel like way less of a truck to drive and way more of a car to drive so it's very familiar to get into a caddy whether you're buying a van for a florist business uh, a passenger vehicle for a big family or something like a california if you like to go camping and you want a really simple solution with seats that you can use in the back as well so it's quite good to drive as far as these vehicles go and that really extends to the ride and the handling especially which is really adept for a van lovely car like steering well weighted we don't really have adjustable modes and stuff like that but the standard mode that the van is always in is basically the right one now the car like feeling kind of also extends to powertrain, especially if you go for the Caddy California TSI with a relatively modest but quiet and smooth and refined petrol engine, a 1.5 litre turbo petrol four cylinder. However, this test car is specified with the two litre TDI, two litre diesel engine, which makes 90 kilowatts of power and 320 newton meters of torque, which is heaps of torque. So this would be the basis that you'd want to use if you're going to spec up your California with more accessories and more weight, because as that torque figure implies, it's a little pack horse. It just sort of chugs away and goes lots of torque, easy for country overtaking, just takes the weight and always drives at low uh, RPM. So even the diesel engine sounds okay because it never really needs to thrash and it's driven really well through a seven speed DSG automatic transmission, which isn't really quirky at all. It just works as you would expect in either the regular drive or a slightly more athletic sport mode in the gearbox. Now, one thing the California TDI is not is quick off the line. We did some controlled performance testing at our test track and we managed to get 10.87 seconds to 100 out of this vehicle. So you do have to plan your, uh, your on-ramp runs a little bit more and you're not gonna win too many stoplight drag races in the car, but it's perfectly sufficient. It gets the job done and braking performance is really good, giving repeated 39 meter stops from 100. So definitely better than something like a dual cab, which you would expect because it isn't as heavy and it's car based. I like the car like driving position, the infotainment that's sourced from regular Volkswagens, switch gear, steering wheel. You feel right at home and you even get nicer heats like an armrest that you can put in just the right height and length position. Plus you get adaptive cruise control, you get lane keep assist, you get blind spot monitoring. So it's bang up to date um, from a safety perspective too, which is awesome for a van, not something you usually see for a van. 
but it helps because the Caddy is basically brand new for 2022. Uh, first time this vehicle has been on the MQB platform, first time it's been able to get safety features to this level. So it's very much a modern car in this segment. So that is our opinion on the Volkswagen Caddy California. A really nice little small camper that you can buy straight from Volkswagen, get it on the highway with its frugal little diesel engine, pull up to a campground, and within 20 seconds, you're ready for a nap. Now, hope you've enjoyed a little look at this, uh, this camper, enjoyed some of the snaps from Zach along the way, and of course, us having a bit of a clown around with the car today. Let us know if you wanna see more lifestyle-y kind of stuff like this or more van reviews, always happy to oblige. Give us your feedback on the Caddy California. Is this the kind of vehicle you'd consider while you're down there? We'd appreciate it if you'd hit subscribe and the notification bell. And as always, thanks for watching Chasing Cars.